All right, sir. Uh, it's Ali here. I hope you are fine. So right now I'm into the dashboard of your WordPress website, and uh, this with this plugin I have taken the backup. So don't worry about this. Okay. And uh, this is your WooCommerce section. Okay. Click on this and click on settings. So first of all, we need to create the zones. Okay. And the settings. If you come over here, zone pricing. This is the functionality that I have added with the plugin. Okay. So this has got two options: general and zones. You don't need to do anything with that right now. This is the zones. Click on this. Over here, I have created these four zones: US, CAD, Canadian dollars, and this is Euro. And uh, this is by mistake. Uh, it is duplicated. Let's just remove that. All right. And this is the rest of the work. That is your by default GBP. So with the Euro, you need to go to this and click on Add It. and add all the countries that you want to add just click on the country and it would be added and just save changes and it would be added okay so exchange rate don't worry about this and uh, there are two ways to display the different pricing the first way is to uh, give a exchange rate let's say uh, you want to put 115 with the euro so it would be applied to all the pricings the other way is to put the manual I will show you in a while. All right, this is where you create the zones. I have already created. You just need to modify this to add all the your uh, your files. I hope that makes sense. Let's just close that. And the next thing is to update the pricing on the products. So let me show you what I have done so far. So coming over to your products, this is your products. All right, and uh, let's come over here. Come on, make it quick, please. Come on, come on, come on. All right. So this is your product, and let's just view that. This is the Pakistan IP. You are looking on this in the Pakistan IP, and it says uh, 29 to 46 euros. This this is with the different pricings. All right. So it's with the euro, right? And uh, over here, if I come, this is the my remote desktop computer, and this is the United States server. Let me just copy this and uh, open my remote desktop server. Let's just open this. So this is dollar thirty-five dollar to forty-six dollar. So every time you change the select the different variation i see you have added different type of variation so this price changes all right let me show you how that is in the back end okay so coming over to your products this was the product and uh, i'm just gonna edit this all right so over here as this is a variable product you need to go to variations all right and over here so this is your first variation stage 1 x you need to click on this all right and this is your regular price and you can put the sale price if you wish to all right then what you have to do this is the price for the us you can calculate by the exchange rate. Remember uh, a few minutes before I mentioned the exchange rate, or you can put the prices manually. So this is for the US. Let's suppose I'm putting this for 67 for the US. And this is price for the Canadian dollars for the users from Canada. This is from the European countries. And this is the, uh, this is for the European countries is all. And this is for the one variation over here. This one variation. You have to update the products for all the variations that you have with your product, different type of variations. All right. Uh, it will only work once you update 
this price on all the variations otherwise it will not work okay you have to update the pricing on all the variations all right i just changed the pricing for the one variation let's see if that is changed on the us or not uh my network connection so i just updated that and let's see this is the my us i'm going to open it up in the new tab so i changed i guess for the first one and this is the usd 7 uh, 67 usd for the usa i hope that makes sense so i have the backup with me so feel free to play around with all the products and all that stuff let's take the backup of the products uh, before you play with something so it's better to have the uh, backup where is the tools exports just quickly explore all those products, the products, products, products. All right, I'm just exporting the products. All right, sir. I hope that makes sense. Uh, unfortunately, I need to leave in within two hours for 24 hours generally. Uh, that happened. That was not planned, but unfortunately, it was a uh, suddenly I had to move. I wasn't getting tickets for the eight vacations. Uh, two, two, three. Days ahead, I, I had planned for that, but I had to buy for today. So let me know if there is any confusion, I will be available. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Take care.